Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Zigzag here, and I'm doing a, uh, not a live commentary, just a regular commentary over, uh, some gameplay of me playing War Zones, which is a mod that I covered earlier, I don't know, a week ago or so. And, um, this one is the Raid Camp, or Legion Raid Camp, or something, I don't know. And so it's a, uh, it's an NCR versus Legion, uh, War Zone, and it's really good one actually because it's just full on battle of the beasts or something but uh yeah I'm having some fun on this one and uh I'm gonna be showing you actually three mods technically in this one the war zones as I'm kinda demonstrating you right now and the falcon mod which I used to get the hell out of here and then I show you another combat assistant mod which kinda adds a really cool sort of I don't know sort of like overlay or effects to your game like uh you know you know the standards like night vision thermal uh, electric sensor and there's one that's kind of gives you like a terminator terminator style kind of almost like a reticle that encircles your enemies and gives you kind of info about them like whether it's whether they pose a threat or whether they see you or all that good stuff but the really cool thing is you can actually overlay the mod the kind of like modded vision things together so you can kind of have night vision and thermal vision combined or even all four of them combined but it just creates really bizarre effects but like night vision and thermal vision actually work really well together because the dark blues from the cold get enhanced and brighter and the oranges appear really bright and you know electric sensor and thermal kind of looks weird electric sensor and night vision looks freaking trippy but, uh, yeah, I think I'll show you a bunch of the combos later. And, um, right now I'm just kind of looking around for enemies in this area. Trying to f trying to find some fools. Looking at the sky, because it looks beautiful. This is my favorite weather type. I think it's called Vizari Dream or something. I don't know. Sounds like something out of Mass Effect. Which is a good game. Um, just so excited for Skyrim. I don't know about you guys, but if you've read anything about it or you know, watch any YouTube gameplay, anything, like, they have some, uh, like, a trailer for gameplay on it, as I own that guy with that incendiary grenade, but anyways, they have, like, a trailer for the gameplay, and it's just gonna be so sexy, like, it looks like they have a sprint feature enabled, which, I mean, I have that as a mod, but I love it when the game's vanilla includes, you know, mo essentially modded things, like, aim down sights, which they had introduced to Fallout 3 as a mod, but it was just really buggy, so I was really happy to see it get introduced into the vanilla version of New Vegas. And, uh, oh, I'm just so excited. I really, I got way more enjoyment out of Oblivion than I did in any Fallout game, simply because it was just so cool. They had so many different weapons. A lot of the weapons were unique. There's a lot more unique weapons. I just loved the use of swords and bows and magic. That was just so cool. So I'm so I'm really stoked for Skyrim. I'm gonna get the biggest sword and hack me some fools. I was I kind of wish they would incorporate some sort of multiplayer aspect into a Bethesda game. Like if I was able to, you know, run around with my bud, that'd be really cool. But that probably won't come out for a while. Or I mean, it's gotta come out eventually because it's just so awesome. As I jump headshot that feral ghoul, that was pretty badass. And, um, oh, just so stoked. I have a countdown on my phone, and it's just telling me days to Skyrim. I can even update it right now. It's coming out on November 11th, and it'll be precisely, precisely, um, 213 days to Skyrim, and 75 days till school ends. <laughs> yeah, I got a pretty boss phone, although it lags a lot. Whatever. Um, so yeah, here I'm trying to travel to Good Springs, but I realize I'm still in a combat zone, so I pull out my trusty Falcon, the, uh, Falcon, and, uh, I think he glitches the first time. Yep, it doesn't even call, but whatever. Mods do that a lot of times, especially, uh, when you try to get a mod to work with the New Vegas script editor and the hotkeys don't work, that will just fucking piss me off. When you get a mod and it's like, press X to add a stealth field, and then you press X and it doesn't do jack shit, it's like, okay, okay, I'm pissed. Whatever. I also had a weird bug where, when I called in the Falcon, the propellers weren't moving, 
and it just looked really weird. But uh, usually you can fix most bugs by just simply restarting your computer. But yeah, you can deploy a guard from the Falcon, which is a pretty damn cool thing. You can deploy a guard, and it gives you a list of guards. And here you can choose the waypoints. You can set the custom waypoints from, I believe, the actual remote control. And here are a bunch of preset things. And I want to go to Good Springs, because that's where the uh, combat assistant thingy bobbers are. There's actually a bed that folds out of the wall is really good because you can make it like a uh, even a full player home and it, it's got a little hold in the back where you can put your companions it's yeah, pretty cool I'm just playing with a lock in my hand because it broke so I'm going to have to go bend it into shape so yeah so you go over to uh, whatever his name is Doc Mitchell's house and he should have them on the shelf or whatever the first time I actually tried to record this, I did it live, but I had my mic muted or something, or I was messing around with frap settings and I accidentally set it so that you, the mic only went on if you pressed scroll lock or something, so I did the entire commentary without recording it, but I don't care if you guys know, I could care less really. Um, and then, oh yeah, here are the combat assistant things just on a shelf. And then I recorded it another time, and then halfway through the, like, over like just commentating over it halfway through my screensaver came on and unsynced the video and it just got really confusing but here I'm using the electric sensor so this adds like an electric thing you can see the light bulbs even are lit up it's kinda cool and here I combine the electric sensor and night vision which looks like frickin weird as hell and uh... so yeah it's really cool how you can combine them and here I put on thermal vision all three of them at the exact same time and you can see the thermal vision is just really dark and it doesn't really work with all three of them but as soon as you uh, take off it kinda just causes weird things but as soon as you take off like electric sensor or uh, night vision it doesn't really matter you'll uh, get really cool effects just like the night vision as you can see there's a little trail behind Rex where his heat has been you know even lights put off heat like just the smallest things, windows, just it's really well done. I don't know how the guy did it, but it's just a really well done mod. Here's night vision, the stock night vision with no other attachments. And uh, that's just, oh, it's just such a good mod, really. And here's the combat assistant. You can see it's kind of got a Terminator style thing on it. It says ally detected, do not attack in the top right. And on enemies like this, or not really enemies, but it says no threat, you know, passive target. And uh, that's really cool. It also uh, shows you dead bodies. Uh, what else? I think it also shows you enemies that like, haven't seen you. I'm not really sure about all the aspects. Like I haven't tried them all or seen any differences. But like if it's an enemy but it doesn't want to attack you, such as like a mole rat or a uh, well mole rats want to attack you, but like a rad roach or anything, it'll say passive target. But if it's an actual like hostile enemy it should show as red and then once you kill an enemy the uh, circle still goes around it and it shows as as being dead so it's like a purple circle thing with it says target level enemy is dead or something like that which is really good because you can tell from a distance if there's you know a few guys over there or whichever but the only thing is it shows through walls and it also shows over a really far distance which means it kind of it almost makes it too easy because you can just know where everybody is but uh, then again if you have Eddie on your team or ED or whatever if you have him on your team you can see every freaking person in the game essentially on your little mini map but um yeah I don't really like how Eddie gives you that much of a bonus it's a little overpowered if you ask me but I think I'm gonna get a mod that actually it's called iHUD and what it does is it disables the, the uh, the HUD essentially, so you can have it so there's no health showing up, no nothing. The only reason I didn't keep it on is because it just felt really weird, and uh, you c you can't see what grenade you're using as that grenade hotkey, which kind of confused me. But I mean, I'll probably put it on because I I'm gonna try to make this game as immersive as I can. Essentially, it should be good, and I uh, yeah. So if you in, uh, enjoyed the video, then please head over to my channel and uh, show some love. If you didn't, then show some hatred of some sort. I don't really know, but I'll probably just not respond. So yeah, have a good day, and peace!